sees a lot of potential and he likes you already. He's a big guy. I think he moves pretty well for a big guy. All right, time to go to the airport. At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. This morning, I'm waiting for my agent to get a deal done. It took a half hour hike, a little gander down to one of my favorite places in the world to get a hot bag. Rotten Ronnie's Wonderland is easily one of my favorite places in the entire world to go get a nice hot bag. In Europe, McDonald's is quite different. If this is one of my last days, I figured why not go to Rotten Ronnie's Wonderland and try to get some of the craziest stuff on the menu. Double sausage patty, little egg action. Actually, that looks not very good. And then uh, some McMuffins. Next up, this one's new. Can't get this in North America. This is called the Mighty McMuffin. And it's sausage, egg, bacon, and ketchup. Crepes. That actually looks really sad. And the crepes come with uh, strawberry sundae, strawberry sauce. So that's, uh, that's probably good for the body, right? It's a pretty sad crepe here. Crepes, they're not terrible with the sauce. Pretty rough on their own. I never would have thought I would have heard McDonald's and crepes in the same sentence, but nice old hot bag. This is disgusting if I was to do this. Anytime you go double sausage, you can't go wrong there, so that's pretty solid. With that being said, I almost got absolutely smoked by a Corolla on my way to McDonald's crossing the street. Little CFB check from behind. If you're new to the channel, A, welcome. Thanks for watching today's video. And two, let's begin this video. What's going on, Trav? Hey, what's up, dog? I think you could really help us, Travis. I think uh, I'd like to get you down here as soon as humanly possible. Ask him for a Swedish cell phone number. I'll call him on that. Wherever we get you here, I, you gotta play, man. For the vlog and for yourself. I wanna play because I wanna keep the vlog going, but at the same time, I don't wanna step into another show like with Flemingsburg where everything just goes south and now I gotta yep. dig myself out of a hole and scramble and go to a hotel. Like, I'd rather go home if that's gonna be the case. Alright, talk to you later Doug. We'll keep you updated. All right, you if this does not work out, I'm going home in two days. How's your living situation? How are you feeling without me? Uh, so I came home from practice last night in uh, this uh, Nissan GTR out here. The boys are doing uh, pretty good here. This looks like a drastic uh, yeah, improvement uh, from the last shack. Yeah, no, a little bit of an improvement, a little bit of an upgrade. They're taking care of it. You miss me yet? Of course I miss you. Oh, that's good to hear. so far from the phone, I can barely hear you. I, I, I just moved to a new hotel room. I wanted a bigger bed, and I'm living off protein bars for like the last day, so I needed a bathroom too while I was out. Tough go. You had a goalie coach there that works with the Division One team, so that's their third league here. He, he sees a lot of potential, and he likes you already. Like he's, from what he's seen, he's like, he's a big guy. I think he moves pretty well for a big guy. Like, I think he has a lot of potential to be a really good guy here. And I said, I agree. That's a positive thing. You know, he has some belief in you. He's not just bull. You know, if that was the case, you know, I don't think they'd be offering to do this. Your ITC, they're going to, he, he said he's 90% sure they can get it covered. He's got to get it cleared by the president. And we're going to get that ready because you do have to pay rent. He said 3,000 crown, which is 428 Canadian. That's pretty good. The next place you go this year, I want you to go there, stay there, and play the whole year. The next step now is waiting for him to get the, like, the okay from, from the, the president or the, the club manager there. The ass is like, oh, he looks like he has some pretty good gear. I said, my opinion, I said, don't worry about the gear, because even if they were to give you gear, it's not going to be gear you want. Yeah, I, I'd probably sell it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Which, in Europe, you, you have to give the gear back. You can't keep it. But that'll be icing on the cake. Let me get all the other stuff kind of sorted. I think ITC is a big one. You can get a team to cover that. That's huge for you, because that's, you know, 1800 that you need like right now. Hopefully they're gonna pull a trigger on me. If they do, that means I'm probably gonna be heading out probably tomorrow, maybe the next day. If they don't, still on pace for flying home probably in two days ish, give or take. So I gotta be prepared either way. I'm, I'm prepared to go no matter what happens. All my stuff's packed up, ready to go. What I was gonna do, I'm gonna go take a train down to the airport right away. I'm gonna go get a luggage cart, bring it back here so that way I don't have to struggle bringing my stuff to the train station like Sweeney did, bring all of his sh to the train station yesterday. That's great news. All right, time to go to the airport, try to get me a luggage cart to move all my sh
So to get to the airport, you gotta pay a special fee. Can't go to the airport without paying that fee. I don't know if luggage cards have a lock on them or not. This experiment is gonna cost me a couple bucks. I think it's gonna be worth it though. I don't have to carry everything over my shoulder through an escalator at the train station. Improvising. And I'm not stealing a luggage cart. I'm borrowing it. I'm gonna send it back later. Don't worry about it. Get off my ass. Turns out it's gonna cost like 20 bucks to get down to the airport. I think I'll suffer and put everything over my shoulder instead. I'm not paying that kind of money. At that price, I'll put everything over my shoulder, lug it, blow out my shoulder, and get myself down to the train station. 20 bucks? 20 bucks? I've been talking about Ridge wallets for a while now, but the new latest and greatest from the folks at Ridge is their backpack. It's awesome. It's padded for all your valuable stuff. You can put a laptop in there, maybe some cameras like me. And the best part, it's got a USB plug-in in the back, but you can charge your shit right from the backpack. It's comfortable, it looks good, and it's from the folks that I trust at Ridge Wallets. And while you're picking up your Ridge wallet, you can pick up your Ridge backpack when you go to the first link in the description. You use the promo code TRAVSOCKS at RidgeWallets.com and you click on that first link in the description. Thanks again to the folks at Ridge for sponsoring today's video. Money is nice. Oh, Living this hotel life is tough. Here's something I learned from Rob from Butt Ends. Rob is a good friend of mine. He's the owner of Butt Ends and he is also a doppelganger of West Scantlin, one of my favorite bands, Puddle of Mud. So think so let me know in the comments or if you don't think so when Rob and I do road trips together one thing we do a lot is we go to grocery stores while we're on the road we'll get a bunch of veggies in this case carrots get some hummus for dipping them in we'll get a whole bag like lettuce toss together a salad dressing with just like a little olive oil lemon juice some avocado shake up the box boom you got a salad and then a whole roasted bird so there's no actual cooking or any utensils that are needed to actually make this outside of what's provided to you from the grocery store so this is probably gonna be the best meal especially considering the fact that for the last 24 hours I have literally been my brains out because I've been only eating protein bars and protein cookies for the past 24 hours. That's a big contributor for why I had to get a new hotel room today, but that's... Tell me this doesn't look weird. I told you the protein cookies were coming on me. At no point in the last 24 hours have I actually bought a protein cookie. I've only ran into them because they've come out probably just as... What is wrong with me? Holy sh... What's up from Stockholm? That from uh, Travis. Come on. Hey, that's me. He streams us every day before from practice. Stockholm. Yeah, Travis Ridgen, goaltender, hockey guy, big hockey guy. He's over there playing pro for Fleming's, Flemingsburg, I think. Just rolls off the tongue. 92 on City, radio station, morning show, Winnipeg with TJ Connors. Best morning show in the city of Winnipeg. It has kept me sane on all those public transit bus rides and train rides to games and practice in Flemingsburg when I was with the team. And it stopped me from going absolutely insane and wanted to hurl myself out of the window. Thanks. The entertainment on the podcast guys much appreciate it yeah if you asked me to spell flemingsbury right now with a gun to my head i'd be buried six feet under no <laughs> clue it seems like a series of dashes and just sounds that come out of my throat after i've had 40 beers <laughs> to you too thanks doc thanks for watching i do new videos every monday wednesday friday at 9 a.m eastern time you should definitely subscribe and come for the premiers because those happen a couple minutes early. You should also use the promo code TRAVSUCKS for any of these awesome products here. Link in the description. Promo code TRAVSUCKS will save you some awesome bucks on block knuckle guard, butt end scripts, pro license, tow tie, you name it, Insta360 action cameras. Everything is linked down in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 a.m. upload. Oh, and before I forget, if you like question and answer videos, you want me to answer your questions, the next video is going to be exactly that. So if you have a question you submitted for one of my Instagram polls, I'm going to answer those in the next video. I'll see you then. Recently on the podcast, a journeyman made by former Winnipeg Blue Bomber, Gold Bombers, Ian Wild, and National Cross player Zach Reed. Give him a follow if you're a Saskatchewan Rough Rider fan. Ignore this message. If you love the Bombers, go blue, follow the podcast. Link in the description. That's right, baby.